We are now at stage three, a hill to die on. I hope nobody dies out here today. We have our women's team division. 14 minute time cap here, plenty of work to get done. We'll see how far these ladies get and who can finish the entire stage. Let's first introduce our teams. Over here in lane one, Kim Rosenthal and Naomi Wisely. Already moving back. Lane number two, V Gabbard and Elba Vasquez. They're, they're too fast, they're too fast. In lane number three, Janae DeCausson, Blair Drum. Lane number four, Karina Perkins. Mallory Pettas. And lane number five, Lupe Hernandez and Lecky, Lexi Dickinson. So what these teams have to do, you see they're going over and under the parallettes. Most of these teams are going to have a 60 pound bag and a 40 pound bag. We do have one team, the team over in lane two, V and Alba, who have a 40 pound bag and 44 pound bag. You can decide which athlete gets which bag. One athlete must pass over the parallettes, the other one under. And then our box here, really all of that is, is a distraction more than anything. Athletes just need to get up and over, but both feet have to touch. You can't just put your tush on there and scooch. And they will complete that portion going over and under the parallettes on this side and the other side twice before they then can now approach their firing line. We already got three teams making their way on their first round of shooting. Four rounds of 10 shots on the rifle, four rounds, 10 shots on the pistol. All teams have now advanced here on the firing line for our sequence. Athletes may choose however they want to shoot the rifle. As for the pistol, they can stand freestyle. You guys can see, try to get a little bit closer, but our targets for the pistol, incredibly small squares. Precision is going to be everything in this one. We already have Janae DeCausson. She has advanced to her pistol, followed by a couple of other teams close behind. And again, if you are new to tactical games, the way that our judging works in the sport, uh, these are actually other athletes. The ones that are standing, that would be the squad that went before them. So once you are done, you then judge the squad after you. Really makes it feel like that community type of sport. Everybody supporting each other, everybody sticking around for the next squad. We were just informed that the second athlete can't start working until both teammates have finished their firing sequence. And now Janae and Blair starting their second round of our over-unders, bringing those sandbags up and then up and overs over the box, making it look easy. Blair on top, and then that is Janae who went under. Good strategy as Blair's a bit taller than Janae. That's way better. <laughs> she says that's way better. Ladies moving and then right next to them, Corinna and Mallory close behind. They're up and overs one more time before then they will grab their magazines at the bottom and proceed to the firing line for their second round. 
There they are, loading everything up. Now back to work, over and under. They will then go over the box, over and under the parallettes, right before the firing line, and then advance. So we have Mallory and Corinna. They are going to be on the right side of your screen. Blair and Janae on the left side of your screen. So Mallory, or I'm sorry, Janae and we're already to work. Mallory and Karina can't start till both teammates are on the firing line. And they will get to work on their second of four rounds. Again, time cap for this one, 14 minutes. And we are about six minutes in to stage three of the day. Ten total shots here with the rifle before now they are moving on to their pistol. Ten total shots here. Janae choosing to kneel, a more stable position, I assume, for the two of them. And Mallory choosing to stand, so freestyle, so it's athlete's choice. Judges hold them seven minutes in as they move on to their three of four rounds moving that seems like lightweight for these athletes there again to the left Brenna and Mallory close behind close behind on that log on the far side before they can put back. And then they will come back one more time before advancing again to the firing line. Corinna giving her teammate Mallory a little bit of encouragement. Trying to keep that heart rate down too. That is super important once you get to that firing line is taking a deep breath, finding your breath, making sure you're in a position that allows your lungs to expand. You can take that deep breath. Find a stable position where you can lock it in. It looks like we got a couple of questions over here. So I may as well finish this leg. We can check in later to see exactly what the confusion might have been. They're doing the same thing. There we go back up and over. Yep, just got to get that bag over. The only real standard with the box is keeping both feet on there, not scooting across. You can help hold the bag on your shoulders, you can throw it over. There we go.
And ladies will both choose to kneel again. Good position for both of them. Yes, yes. All right, they are in their last round. Again, just over 10 minutes in, time cap 14 minutes. These ladies should have no problem finishing under that time cap. You see, they're hustling a little bit more. Let's go, guys, Sparks, move, move. Let's go, hustle, move. Keeping the same strategy the entire time. Blair goes over, Janae goes under. Excellent, excellent. There they go. One more up and over of this parallette. Then they will go back and down. Grab those magazines and straight to the firing line for that time cap. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, take two, Blair. Get down and take two. Okay. That nice steady pace. There we go. So far, this group of athletes, while they are on stage three, this is their second stage that they've completed on the day, four total stages, technically five because <laughs> this group is going to be on that five mile run later today. Yep, they got their final magazines. Last up and over is here. Just under two minutes left in that time cap. 10 more rounds with their rifle and 10 more rounds with their pistol. And then that will be a close for a women's stage three, a hill to duck. You can also notice that Blair and Janae are both choosing, while they're both laying down, they choose a different leg position. Some athletes, you can see on the right hand of your screen, we have Blair, she's kind of digging her toes into the dirt to get stability. And Janae actually looks like she's choosing to dig her knees into the dirt for a more stable position. Now both ladies, final set with their pistol here. Mallory now finishing their final set. They will start with the rifle and then advance with the pistol. And something else to keep in mind if you're new to the games, it's not always the team that is fastest on the fitness portion that wins because then we have to have our judges count the amount of shots also talk about the penalties, but Blair and Janae, we'll chat with them as they cross the finish line. How did that one feel, Blair? It was definitely very sprinty. Whenever I realized that I could be touching the in the bag, it was a game changer. Having to throw that thing down and then pick it back up was way more energy than just touch and go. But my glasses kept fogging up, so it was hard to see down range. Yours? I took mine off. Yeah, <laughs> which is not advised. I know that, but I couldn't see. No, I couldn't so, see. So, um, I just took him off at times, but he's good. He's a lot of heart rate, a little bit of legs. Too. It was fun. The weights looked a little too light for you two. Oh, the weights were. But how did they feel? Sometimes it's about the stimulus, though. Like, yeah, yeah, it's lighter, but you just get to go faster. So that doesn't always mean that it's easier. Yeah, true. Very true. Yeah. You could disrespect the weight a little bit, but it was still a sprint <laughs> down the back. So. Yeah, I'm still out of breath. I still yeah. like, felt my legs on yeah. that. So. What was the most challenging part of this one? 
For me, the box get over. I tried to stay really low, but my legs still started getting smoke going up, down, up, down. Yeah, the hill in the middle was a little sticky. I think the hardest part was the pistol, though. Because you just had to be really controlled. Shooting-wise, the pistol was very hard. Yeah, those are really small targets. Yeah. Uh, and something else that I noticed is when you were both laying down with the rifle, you had a bit of a different strategy. You, Blair, you kept your legs a bit tighter. It looked like you were jamming your toes into the dirt. Where yeah. Janae, yours were wider. It looked like the knees might have been su supported. Can you explain that to me? Uh, I don't think much of it. Like, I don't think it's an advantage in the legs, really. Like, you don't use them, but I was just trying to get as flat as I could, and that's a comfortable position. Mm -hmm. So, honestly, all I'm thinking about is, like, what's going on downrange and making whatever's back there comfy. <laughs> uh, so that's where it lied today. I don't know. I was trying to not hit her, and I had a lot of <laughs> brass really coming at my out. face. I don't mm -hmm. know if you caught any of that. So I was trying to, like, get as stable as I could and shoot as fast as I could possibly shoot while stable so I could get done. And, like, I tried to be on the line, loaded, and ready for when she got down so that I could start shooting a little bit before her because I kept on getting – I got hot brass a couple of times that I was, like, laying on. Next time so. we'll switch sides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the hot brass. I didn't think about that until I, I got really down there. And the yeah. first round hit me in the face. I was like, oh. <laughs> Bit of a shock to the system. <laughs> Well, congratulations, ladies. Look great you. out there. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. It looks like our women's teams have just wrapped up our 14-minute time cap. Second event coverage of the day. We now will move to our bay right next to us to feature a squad at stage two.